Synology Drive is one of my favorite applications for Windows because it allows me to sync files from my NAS to my PC whenever I need them. That ensures that the data stays on the NAS itself. However, when I need to access it, I can easily double click it and it will download from my NAS without me having to do anything. It's like the data is on my PC itself. However, it's actually on my NAS. The biggest problem with the Mac version of Synology Drive is that on-demand sync was never available. This means that if you synced a folder, the folder would have to contain all of the information that exists on the NAS itself. In essence, they were just a clone of one another. There's a new version of Synology Drive available for Macs, and it allows you to use on-demand sync. However, it functions entirely different than it does on Windows. So before we look at this, I do want to point out that this is just a beta version. And truthfully, I've run into a few problems on my own just testing it out. So it's not something that I recommend you install right now. However, I am going to show you how it works today because I think this is a great step towards where it needs to be, meaning that it needs to function as closely to the Windows version as it can. So right off the bat, the first thing that's different is that you have to set up a new sync task. So on Windows, when you use Synology Drive, you're allowed to select the Windows location and the NAS location that you want to sync the file to and from. On Mac, it's different. So for example, if I wanted to sync the data to my documents folder, I can't. What I have to do is set up a new sync. And from there, I can use the option, enable on-demand sync to save disk space on your computer. As soon as you check that off, the folder location on your computer grays out and you'll have an option below it where you can enter in a task name. This is the task name that you're going to be able to access when you use Finder. So I already set up two sync tasks and I'll quickly show you how it works. When you open up Finder under the locations, you're going to have every single sync task that is using on-demand sync. For me, I'm just going to select my test folder, but what you're going to see is that there are two files inside of that. Both of them will have a cloud icon next to it. What that means is that the file is actually stored on my NAS and it is not stored on my local PC. As soon as I double click to open that file, it will automatically download from my NAS and it will display the contents. From there, that file will stay on my Mac. However, if I want to remove it, I can right click it and select remove download. After doing that, the file will no longer take up any storage space on my Mac However, it will still exist on my NAS. From a core functionality standpoint, that's the biggest benefit to it. There are some other differences and there is a limitation right now where you cannot pin a local copy permanently. That functionality does exist on Windows, but it's supposed to be coming with the Synology Drive Server version 3.2. Now, I do wanna point out, I had a lot of problems with this meaning that it is a true beta in the sense that if you install it, you're probably gonna run into issues. So for production, I would not recommend that you upgrade right now. However, we are trending in the right direction and I think that hopefully within the next few months, we'll have a fully production ready version that will function very similarly to the way that it does on Windows. And for anybody that uses Synology Drive on Windows, you'll know that this will change your entire workflow because you'll be able to sync different folders and the data will still live on the NAS itself. However, if you ever have to access it, it will automatically download it. This is invaluable to me and my workflow and I can't wait for the production version to release for Mac because it will totally change the way that I'm currently using my Mac. So I'm hoping that this video helped you out. If it did, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. And if you like this type of content, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks, guys.